Hey everyone, it's Maria and today I'm going to do the flip through of the first half of January in my Hobonichi Techo. I finished my 2015 Hobonichi and I did a flip through of this notebook um, and I will link the, the video down below. So I'm back in my Mina Perunon cover which was a 2015 cover and I still love it very much. It's a very wintry, beautiful design and I just added some washi tape samples and a cute bookmark and this postcard here. I really like the illustration style as well so that's why I added it in here. A Star Wars sticker of course. To be honest I'm not too happy with the sticker savers. I'm not sure if I like how they some of the stickers leave a residue like a sticky residue and it's really hard to get off um, of this material and I yeah I'm I'm not sure if, if they will be holding up for the entire year but so far they're they come in very handy okay so for January I added this mini postcard which I got from sticker paradise on this cover page for the month and as you can see I am using the 20 16 pencil board which I like a lot. It's this dark red color, deep red color and then um, a turquoise color for the today marker there and I like how it looks with my current cover. On the first here you can see that I'm still adding a lot of washi tape and I'm still trying to do at least an illustration a day and I'm I tried to here, I attempted to draw my new Starbucks mug, which I actually got in in the Christmas sale for four bucks. And I like it very much. It has some gold details here and it's really pretty. And I'm trying to improve my hand lettering because I'm really, really bad at it. And I want to be able to do some different fonts. And so I'm trying to do a different font every day or every couple of days. Here I just wrote Hello 2016. We started, my husband and I started the year with some decluttering. We're still decluttering using the Marie Kondo method. I will link her book down below. Um, and we decluttered our kitchen utensils and like food stuffs. And um, the rest of the day was just kind of a relaxed, nice day at home. The second was a uh, Saturday and this was a really nice day as well. We um, I packed a rack for a friend on Instagram who sent me a wonderful rack as well. And then um, at noon, about noon, we went shopping. My husband bought some music equipment and I bought some scrapbooking supplies. Um, including some really wonderful empty washi tape actually. And at night we made fajitas and I tried to draw them here but I'm not very happy with how it turned out. It's very dark and I don't really like the illustration style that I use for it. But well anyway that just happens. You know you have illustrations that turn out the way that you wanted them to and some just don't. You can see here by the way I'm trying to keep the spreads all color coordinated with the sticker and the the washi tape and um, my illustrations to be all kind of color coordinated. The third was a Sunday and it was another really nice relaxed day at home. I used this Vida Yang Dolce Vida um, washi tape snippet as a um, guideline I guess for her but I then um, changed the colors to match the overall um, page colors, pages, uh, colors on the pages. Um, and I actually watched the New Year's New Year's special from one of my favorite YouTubers. He's a German YouTuber who does, um, who comments his gameplay in video games, and I really, really love his videos. I of course don't watch all of them, but I just um, watch. Uh, some of the games that I already played and I want to see <laughs> how he's doing and um, how he's commenting on them and 
uh, he always does this New Year's special, which I watched that day. It's kind of a tradition to just sit down with a mug of tea and, and watch that. And at night, um, a friend of my husband's um, came to visit, and he actually stayed for the whole week, and we went and saw the new Star Wars movie again. And it was awesome seeing the Star Wars movie again, of course. January 4th was a Monday. It was my first day back at work and I was still kind of in holiday mood and it was really really hard to get back into um, working but I had a very productive day of work anyways. And this is um, a snippet of the wonderful washi tape, penguin washi tape that um, April did um, and, and she's a penguin's creative and she has a super cute um, penguin that she always draws everywhere and she made some washi tape from it and it's so awesome. I will try and link her Etsy shop down below so you can check that out. And again you can see here that I'm trying to color coordinate, coordinate everything. The stickers and then the um, illustration here has certain colors and I try to kind of pick up those colors in the washi tape. Um, mm. Uh, at night, I I actually have some plans for 2016 to open an Etsy shop um, with the help of my husband and uh, if that ever <laughs> comes to fruition, I will definitely uh, tell you about it, of course, but that's the plan. And um, so I worked on that and some other creative projects I'm currently working on and then I also sorted a lot of pictures, um, photos from our trip to Indonesia last year and also some other photos and while I was sorting the photos which is a very tedious process of course I actually watched a um, couple of episodes YouTube episodes of um, my favorite youtuber playing um, this wonderful game which is a German computer game. I think there is an English edition. I'll try and find it and link it down below. Um, and it's a really really awesome, it's like one of those kind of old school feeling 2D point and click adventures and it's just really awesome. I love those adventures when I was a child, like the LucasArts, like Monkey Island and, and those kinds of games. And it's kind of in the spirit of that and I really really love it. It's very smart and snarky and funny and just really awesome. And this is the main character, so I tried to draw me him here. And um, that was just a really nice day, end of the day thing to do. The fifth was a Tuesday and uh, it was another day back at work. In the morning I met up with my friend, my best friend, and we had some bagels. It's a really nice way to start the day and then I had a quite productive day at work. The 6th was Wednesday. Again, I had a really productive work day and at night I made tacos, which were really yummy. And then I worked a little bit on my novel. I'm tr tr still trying to finish the first draft of a novel that I started in NaNoWriMo 2015 and I wrote like the first 50,000 words um, during NaNoWriMo and now I'm trying to finish the draft which I think is going to have about around 100 or 120,000 words and after that I watched just a couple more episodes of that um, of that game um, of my of that youtuber playing this game and this is one of the other characters she's wearing a platypus hat here there's a actually um a pl the platypus is kind of like a theme in that game so um that's why i drew her here the seventh i was super duper tired i guess i still had to get back into the whole work routine and um yeah i was just exhausted even before work and work was really tough i it was still i got a lot of stuff done but it was still really tiring and um at night i was just too tired to do anything i just uh, went to bed and watched some more episodes of that game 
the eighth. You can see that I'm trying to do different fonts um, every now and then and to kind of try something else um, on some of the pages. The eighth, um, I got some more washi tape in the mail and including this beautiful washi tape here. Um, here I tried to draw the cat that we're currently watching. Her name is Emmy. Um, I had really, really bad headache that day. I think it was because it had gotten cold, like all of a sudden, because it was really warm all the time. Like it was really, really warm up until a couple days before this, and I, it got cold so rapidly. And I usually get headache when the weather changes too much in like a really short time. And I try to um, drink a lot of coffee because that usually helps with those kinds of um, headaches and I had some Starbucks coffee because that's like some really yummy Starbucks coffee drinks um, to make me feel better and other than that I still I went to work and tried to be productive it I was feeling yeah I wasn't really feeling too well because of the headache but it, it was still a fairly productive day I would say and then the night was Saturday and I was so happy that was uh, the weekend, the first weekend after my first day back at work and um, I really needed the time off. <laughs> um, but I, um, you can see here another platypus, I was kind of obsessed with that um, as a motive. But um, I, I still got a lot of creative work done, I always have some creative projects on the side, including this illustrated journal and some sketching that I want to get better at and um, just certain art techniques like I, I had just gotten ink and feather and a quill and an ink, ink and a quill and I wanted to try and, and learn how to outline with that and I, I'm always trying something to, to improve my technique um, there and then of course, the novel that I'm I'm still working on, and um, some other stuff for the potential Etsy shop that I might open, and so it's it's just I always have these creative projects that are really important to me, and I try to um, get a lot of work done for those projects on that week, and because I don't really get to do a lot of work. Um, on my creative stuff during the week because I have such a really kind of tiring job. Sunday um, my husband and I we went um, out for breakfast which we haven't done in a very long time actually and uh, we went to that one place that we really love and um, in the old town here and um, they have really awesome super huge coffees and I try to um, draw that here. And then I worked on the novel a lot and I also worked on my Etsy shop plans as well as some designs for that. So it was a really productive and wonderful, wonderful day and I still got to relax a little bit so it was just perfect. Wednesday um, and then Monday going back to work of course, <laughs> kind of sad which is why I drew this kind of sad looking girl and she's actually a character from a one of my favorite video games of all times is a 2D point and click adventure as well. It's from the same makers that also made that video game series. And this is the little girl Lily. I really, really love her as a character, as like a video game character. And um, at night, we, my husband made really yummy burgers. Um, they're so, so good. And then we, a friend of ours came by and um, we watched a movie. The 12th was the Tuesday and it was a really kind of stupid day at work. Nothing really worked out and it was really stressful and there were just projects piling up and I was feeling really kind of stressed and so at night the hubby and I went for a run which was really good and very therapeutic in a way. And I tried to draw my running shoe here. And then I found this wonderful quote in one of Mitz's videos, I will link that down below. And she um, wrote it in like a beautiful um, watercolor font, like hand lettering it, and it was so beautiful. And I tried to copy the quote on here and actually made a mistake in the wording, so I wrote fail. Um, and then the 13th was Wednesday, there were a lot of 
talks at work and they were really interesting. It was a really nice day, much better than the Tuesday. And at night, I kind of tried to re rearrange my washi tapes. And then the hubby and I watched Shadowhunters, the first episode of Shadowhunters on Netflix. To be honest, I felt like the first episode was really cringeworthy and I don't know if I'm really happy with the casting choices and like the way that they're portraying the characters and yeah, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it, but I will definitely watch season um, episode 2 and see maybe if, if, if maybe it improves. <laughs> um, the 14th was a Thursday and I woke up and it was one of those days where I'm really, really sad that I didn't choose a career path that is more on the creative side because my job is really not creative at all and I really miss having time for creative projects and kind of working in that way and sometimes it's not too bad and sometimes it feels horrible and really crushing and kind of yes if I made a wrong choice maybe and so I was really sad in the morning um, and then during the day I still had a productive day at work and afterwards I met up with my best friend and we went to our favorite bar and we just kind of chatted and um, yeah she she made me feel better and just um, it was a really nice evening and it was really nice to get to spend time with her and then when I got back home I illustrated a little bit which is why I have the ink and the feather here and um, I drew this wolf here because the bar that we went to, um, their logo or one of their logos is a wolf, so that's why I drew that here. And the 15th was the Friday. I have a cat sticker here because we were still watching um, my sister-in-law's cat. I went to work and I had actually ordered from the miscellaneous store. So they have a lot of traveler's notebook um, stuff and they also have beautiful, uh, other beautiful stationary uh, things. And at night I cooked dinner for the hubby and I and we watched some TV and it was kind of a relaxing Friday evening. But I'm very, very happy that I decided to go with the A6 size Hobonichi because I think the cousin size would be just a tad too much space and would be kind of intimidating for me. So I'm very happy that I went with this one. I would love to hear from you if you are doing an illustrated journal or an art journal in 2016. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll be back with a new video very soon. Bye bye!